Today I'll be showing you how to create a realistic grassy effect using Photoshop. What we need to do first is open up a new folder. So we do that by going to File, New. I'm selecting a 600 width by 400 height. OK. What we need to do next is create the cloud background for this effect. We do this by going to the Set Foreground Color left click on the mouse, we select the blue for this one, nice light blue. Once you've got that selected, OK. Leave the background color as white. We go to filter, render, clouds, and you get a cloud effect. If you're not happy with the cloud effect, we can change that by going back up to filter, render, clouds again. Once we establish that, we select the colour for the grass. We do this by going to the set foreground colour, left click, select the dark green for this one. OK, click on set background colour, left click, select the light green for this one. OK, what we need to do next is we select the brush tool, left click, go to the brush tab at the top, left click, scroll down, one thirty four, left click, mouse, master diameter, we change this to about sixty sixty two. What we need to do next is we go to the brushes tab at the top here, left click, shape dynamics, left click on the word shape dynamics, if you just click on the tab you'll select it but you won't see what you're doing so just click on the word, My minimum diameter, we change this to about 35, and as you see it's changes down here, gives you a preview of what it looks like. The roundness jitter tab, change that to about 27. Leave the rest as is. Next we go down to scattering, click on the word scattering. Both axes clicked, selected. The count this up to about six and the count jitter take it to about 92 unclick other dynamics click on color dynamics left click hue jitter select about 19 and brightness jitter put it to about four or five. Left click out of it so deselect it and what you want to do here is hold left click and draw down ways. Just fill in all where the clouds are down the bottom. Just draw it in. Cover up all the clouds. Once you've done that, that's about it. And that's how you create a realistic grassy effect using Photoshop.